What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Sierra Leone? What's up, Facebook? Okay. Bro, today, I promise you started to bring you a whole lot of updates from Kyle J, but I'm sorry, man. I couldn't because Ambassador popped up, even though, yeah, that's an update too, but you get it. So today, I'm about to bring you like three videos, like so today don't go away you have a whole lot of updates you get so but this morning i would like to is it morning i don't know when you watch this but i'm recording this in the morning hours okay i'll bring you this particular video of asthma james the reason being is why i'm bringing this is to just let you guys know some of you guys that will say Asma James is not responsible for what the the lady published against LJ. You get, and some of you were saying a whole lot of stuff. How she's not responsible. How uh, uh, she is not the one that is supposed to attack. You get when something goes wrong there. I just want you to listen to her own responsibility. This from the horse's mouth is not me saying, okay? For our own responsibility that she has at the, the registration there, okay? So guys, before we get into that, one of our own brothers, okay? They call themselves Firewoods. I know each and every one of us, we are familiar with them. They have something serious coming, something dope coming. I know most of the RFM members, they know, if you guys don't know, let me give you guys a, a, a pinch of, of, of what they used to do and what they did with LJ. Okay, one of, they had one of the most popular songs. So guys, let's let's view this real quick, and then we we'll get to ask me, James. When I said fire, you said fire, fire, fire. When I say Ellen, you say this, Ellen, boss, Ellen, boss, man. Let's get this shit started. Okay, guys, this this Firewoods and they need your help right now. Okay, they're about to release their album, their classic album. But all they need from you guys is love. Okay, so this is their channel, their YouTube channel is thousand thousand point four something subscribers, and they need you guys to flood it to two thousand. I know we can do it. You get let's show love to our brothers so they will have the energy to penetrate into your Leon more. You get I'll leave the link in the comment section, please, please, for salon. Let's go and subscribe. You get so now let's get to Asma James stuff. Now let's listen to this video attentively. Okay, let's listen to this video attentively. Okay, let's let's go. This video was shot like in 2016. My name is Asma James. Um, I work for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM in Sierra Leone. I'm a broadcast journalist in charge of um, the radio station. I'm in charge of programming, whatever Good. comes out of the station. She is in charge of programming of the radio station. Whatever. Bro, let's listen to this side again. I want you guys to get this properly. 
Let's go from stats. Listen to this. My name is Asma James. Um, I work for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM in Sierra Leone. I'm a broadcast journalist in charge of um, the radio station. I'm in charge of programming. Whatever comes out of the station, I'm responsible. Coupled with that, I am also in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the radio station. Good. Whatever comes out of the radio station, any news, okay, she is responsible. She is supposed to be accountable for it. So now you have seen the reason why Alijay insulted her, right? And you're like, she's not the one supposed to be insulted. She's not. Now let's go again. Now let's go again. Growing up, I like um, listening to um, news. When I was going to school, the teachers would tell us to listen to news. And then you explain in class what was said. I had some broadcast journalists back home whom I used to listen to and I love their voice and so with what has been happening back home the issues of women the issues of girls so I just think I, I should pay back to my society by being a journalist and I report on issues on good governance democracy rule of law the rights of women and also the rights of um, girls we have she also reports on good governance democracy rule of law uh, uh, the rights of women and the rights of girls. Good. Good governance, democracy, uh, uh, rule of law, the rights of women, the rights of girls. Please, Asma James. Rule of law number one. Okay. Your son insulted. Uh, 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 oh. Your son insulted LJ. So, what was the rule of law there? What's the good governance that you complain about? Okay, because we all saw what happened to LJ when you he tried to go against the the rights of women. We all saw what you did. You took action. You even stated that you you pray and fasted for for that. For you to take that action, you even prayed and fasted for it. So please let us know. What you are going to do to your own son when he also come against the, the, the rights of women, which is LJ's mother. We haven't heard about anything concerning that yet. Till date. Till date, we haven't heard about it. Is it like the media, they won't talk about it ever? And now LJ is at Padamba Road Prison. We'll be attending courts on the 28th. So that's how it's going to be like. Die down, no updates, and nothing about your son, what he did. And you have you have all this infantry to sit on a big US platform to say you are there for the right of women. And then the IG is saying we need to respect women when they insult them, they need to take action. But when they insult men, we are men, we take things. It's different from when they insult women. Like seriously, what's, what is the good governance, the rule of law that you are trying to implement? Are you trying to confuse the confused or you're trying to confuse people who are trying to gain wisdom? Because we just don't understand. What is the rule of law there? What is the rule of law? Because if the law is standing in front of you, but you guys are... are are deviating it to suit your own comfort, tell me, what is the justice, the democracy that you are fighting for? What are the rights of women that you are fighting for? So another person's parent doesn't matter to you. It's only you when they come against you, it matters, right? Like I said, we still need justice. No matter your forgiveness, you have forgiven LG already. Now we know that. Now, if you still stand for the rights of women, please, persecute your son. That's all we have to say. Persecute your son. I don't have anything. I want to show you guys a full video, but I'll just keep it in case anything pops up. I'll bring it back and show you all the stuff that she said. Peace out.